Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with The Unbearable Weight of Maths by Philip Duman. So we have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules. That means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these killer cages in the grid. That's these cells surrounded by dotted lines with a clue on the top left. All it means is the digits in the cage sum to the value in the top left. Normally we would say digits can't repeat in a cage, but that none of these cages need to use that, so we just omitted that. And those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, well, a three, if you know anything about killer, has to be one plus two. Uh, it's the only way to do that. Four also has only one way. It's one plus three, but notice we have this one, two pair, so this can't be one. So that's three and one. That gives us the, one, the two and the one. We have four digits already. All right. This five is one, four, or two, three, but it can't be one, four, because of the ones missing, so it has to be two, three. Um, let's just fill that all of these are four, five, six now. It might be helpful. The six is either going to be one, five, or two, four. So it has a one and a two, or a two in it, which can't go here. So that's going to go here along with this four, five. Uh, seven has every possible way to do it, so I'm not going to fill that right now. Let's actually work backwards from the ten now. So the 10 has to be 4, 6. Okay, so that 4, 6 looks up, giving us this 5. None of these are 5s. Um, these are from 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now we can say 1, 2, 3 is always going to go with 4, 5, 6 to add to 7. So either going to be 1, 6, 2, 5, or 3, 4. Um, okay, what else do we have going on here? I guess we have the 9 cage. So the 9 cage is going to be either 2, sorry, not 2. It's going to be either 3, 6, or 4, 5. Now this can't be 4 or 6. So that's only 3, 5, which means this is only 4 or 6. Um, okay, so we do have a 4, 6 pair here. So let's just fill out 1, 2, 3, 5. This can't be the 1 or the 2. That gives a 3, 5 pair. So now we've got like a 1, 2 pair, a 3, 5 pair, and a 4, 6 pair. All right, so the 8 cage uh, can't be 1, 7. There's no 7. Could be 2, 6. Oh, it can't be 3, 5 because it would break this cell here. If this was 3, 5, right, in any order, then this would have no way to be filled, right? It doesn't matter what order we do it. So that's not going to work. So this is 2, 6, and we know the order because of this 2. That gives us the 1, the 4, the 6, the 4, the 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. That's a 3. That's not 5, which means that's not 2. This makes this a 3 and a 2. That's not 2 either. This isn't a 4. Uh, okay, what else do we have going on? Well, we can fill this cell. That's a 5. That makes this 6, 4, 6, 4, 5. This is now 6 plus 1. That makes that a 3. Um, over here, we've got a 1 and a 3. Um, this is a 2, so we get 1 plus 5. Over here, we have 4 and 5, which go like that, because of that 5. Uh, let's just fill these. This box needs a 2. Where does that go? That goes here. Box needs a 3, which goes here. We need a 4 and a 6. Nice. All right, very smooth. I think the trick is go from the lowest cages until they become too ambiguous, then go from the highest cages. <laughs> and then that was it, really. Uh, just Sudoku from there. So that was neat. Uh, thanks, Philip. I enjoyed that. Um, I didn't feel unbearably weighted by maths in this one. But <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.